this is Solar PVTV from InterSolar Middle East 2016. Now we are together with Engin Yaman, who is in charge of sales for EMEA for Talisan, one of the largest uh, module suppliers uh, to the world. Hello, Merhaba. Hello, Thomas. Nice to meet you. So, Engin, what are you doing actually here at InterSolar Middle East? Um, currently, we are um, exploring the market, the Middle East market, especially uh, Dubai and Saudi Arabia. So we are trying to, to understand the market, but also at the same time we are getting in contact with the, some very big uh, local important players. Mm -hmm. So uh, did you already start uh, work here or this is just like exploration? We already started, we are already doing some business with, uh, with a company within this market. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we are also thinking about is to, uh, to extend this business and to being more involved into this market by having a uh, relationship of businesses also to, to main players but also to some very big companies here in the market. Yes, because uh, I think that you are one of the most successful let's say, market for you is Turkey eh? and this is also your origin. Eh? So how, how is Turkish market actually now? Uh, it's running very well for Telesan. Currently we do have a 25% uh, market share in, uh, in Turkey so we are running very well in the Turkish market. It, uh, it, is, you know, it, is, um, it took us some time uh, because we have been a newcomer in the Turkish market, but we invested a lot and we created this kind of uh, confidence in the market. So it is, uh, yes, as you mentioned, it is one of the most successful markets within this region. But we, are, we hope to, um, to copy this business model and bring this also to these regions and also to reach these kind of uh, levels within the next months. Yeah. And uh, I would like to ask you about, you know, last time when, uh, where Solar PVT was in Turkey, it was in April. And since then, there was quite a lot of uh, political shakeouts in the country. How did it influence uh, actually the solar market and also investors' confidence in the country? Did it change dramatically or the situa situation stabilized? Uh, I know what you mean, Thomas. I'm, um, I think uh, it, it, it ha there's no impact on the, on the solar uh, energy in Turkey because the government is, as you mentioned, there have been some political um, uh, issues during the last months in Turkey, but the government is trying to uh, establish this uh, very uh, investment-friendly environment you know, to uh, gain back this kind of um, uh, confidence. You know? So that's the reason why they are still supporting solar energy in Turkey. And more than this, they are going to uh, implement uh, new uh, subsidies for the photovoltaic in, in Turkey. So the government is still behind the photovoltaic, and the government is still uh, following the path they uh, started a few years ago. So we should not forget about Turkey? No, definitely not. Um, we should also think about uh, Turkey is, uh, is getting a kind of um, uh, energy producer, uh, which is going to export the energy during the uh, ne coming next years. Mm -hmm. So the, the, uh, Turkey will never give up the solar energy, and uh, we think that the potential will grow during the next uh, years. So returning now to Middle East market, so you had a lot of discussions during those two, three days uh, with uh, potential customers, with people from different countries. So how do you see, you know, the, let's say, the motivation of people here? And do you really believe that uh, now is the great time for the solar energy here in the markets? Which markets, from your perspective, are the most promising? And which markets will you be targeting uh, with the next uh, months and uh, years to come? Uh, this is a good question, Thomas. I must say that the, the potential is already here. Uh, if we look uh, at Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Kuwait, and also to the other markets, you will find a huge potential in case of the radiation, and, but also uh, um, uh, regarding the infrastructure, the technology. Um, the, I think they have now started to think about photovoltaic more than in the past, because uh, we know the uh, oil crisis, which has uh, a huge impact on the on the uh, GDP in, uh, in these uh, uh, countries. So the people, they are th thinking about new alternatives and solar is definitely one of them. But it is, uh, but let us see like this uh, out of the Middle East. Let us see this from a new market perspective. We know this from the UK. It has taken uh, two or three years to, to come to this uh, level, installation level in the UK. Mm -hmm. Because it is natural, it's a new market. It needs a time for business. The policy, the yes. The new players coming, also the you know uh, awareness amongst the people, yeah. financing, the, all these mechanisms, um, they have to be implemented. People have to follow this, so we need to, so we need to uh, uh, experience on, from this, and this will take time. 
but the market already started so we uh, so we see a lot of installations you you know this uh, largest project uh, 800 megawatt uh, and uh, so you see the market has already started but if we talk about the major market with let me say uh, with this effect on a uh, lot of people uh, bringing all people together like in uh, Europe or other market it would take a time definitely but there's a willingness to follow this path and I see it is growing from uh, very small levels but it will I think um, uh, go up to a very high level in the uh, next future and uh, I'm sure that you heard about you know the announcement of the prices yeah for yeah. the bit in Abu Dhabi it was all it was 2.4 cents per kilowatt hour. Is uh, Talisan ready also to be one of the players who will be fighting on this battleground? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we will definitely. We are um, interested uh, uh, in such businesses, but of course, Thomas, it must. It should be a feasible business, definitely. So I'm not sure about the regulation of this uh, of this project, about the about the, all the maintenance, what's coming afterwards, about the financing, etc. But what I'm saying is that uh, at the end of the day, this is very attractive for the purchaser of this electricity uh, for the government or for the uh, utility. And it's definitely bringing uh, solar. It will drive the market. Yeah? It will drive the market. It will bring solar into a new sphere in case of uh, pricing and also uh, opportunities. Uh, we, are to, we, are, we are talking about the price, which is lower than the, the generation cost from yes. gas. From gas. Uh, this is uh, crazy. I would say this is uh, the first time that the that solar energy is not um, competing with other electricity sources uh, and this is bringing this kind of independency for our industry so this is the beginning and I, I really hope others they will follow to do this so you think that you will have a lot of work in the region I hope so and I think we will we will because uh, Dubai is not the only and the first market we talk about Saudi Arabia we talk about Kuwait about uh, Qatar is following Oman is following and Jordan already about Iran and uh, North Africa. So you know it's like the it's like a running effect, yeah, which already started. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. That was Solar PVTV together with uh, Engin Yaman, who is trying now to bring, let's say, the leadership position from Turkey to the Emina region. Thank you very much. So much. Thanks for watching.